Hello, my name is Mike Hurst. I'm at Highland, Highland Hill Farm. And right here, we have our Niagara's that are four to five foot tall, which are a really nice size. And I want to talk to you about something that's going to happen to all evergreens this year as we get closer to the fall. And that's called fall needle drop. That if you look at the ground, you can see some of these yellow needles coming off. That is a symptom of fall needle drop. Every evergreen, every year, loses its needles in the fall. And what's happening is as the new growth starts hardening over, the plant can't support all the growth that it has. So it gets rid of its interior needles, and when it gets rid of it, people can see it sometimes as being yellow. And I guess if we uh, look into the center more, I guess this one over here is better, you can see that the needles do fall off into the center, usually towards the lower part of the tree. The reasoning for the lower part of the tree, not the upper part of the tree, is because the lower part of the tree gets less light than the upper part. So as the plant evaluates itself and which parts of the plants are producing more energy and which ones are not, the ones towards the lower are getting less sunlight, therefore getting less photosynthesis. It's contributing less to the plant. Therefore the plant does not, the plant, the tree itself does not view that part of the plant as important as the top part of the plant, which you can see is very nice, thick, and full. So as you look at your arborvitaes, hollies, spruce, pine, or any type of boxwoods or Japanese hollies, you should see a healthy plant should lose between a fourth to a third of its needles every year during the fall. It is a naturally occurring process that the plant does. And if you do see it and you see the needles falling down in the ground, don't scrape it up and take it away. What that is, that's the plant actually doing it fertilizing and putting mulch down on itself. What this mulch does is it creates the correct pH for the plant to grow in. And as the plant with this debris starts to break down, it gets re-released and the plant can uptake it again through its roots. So if you just let it sit there and let it decompose on its own, it is part of the plant's natural system and that is how healthy plants live. Okay, thank you very much, Mike. We're on Route 313 and Fountainville, PA. This is Highland Hill Farm, and we grow thousands of arborvitaes, pine trees, spruces, junipers, and we have lots of material for you to come to see at our 313 location. Give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. These are our three-foot green giants. They're in a, a number five squat pot. And these are our four foot green giants in our squat pot. Now we call these a three to four foot because they'll be over three foot tall to the top, but less than four foot. And these will all measure about four foot to the top or slightly taller on the four footers. The green giant is placed about five to eight feet apart in straight rows. And you can make a staggered row for a large property. For a smaller property, you would only want to have one single row. A single row is the easiest way to maintain these trees. And if you're going to put in a large number, say like, you know, you're up in northern Pennsylvania and you're going to put in a hundred of them on a large lot, we do recommend that you put in our drip water system, which I will show you in a few seconds. But these trees can grow upwards to three feet a year with our drip water system. They're very fast, they're deer resistant, and wind resistant. The wind resistance comes from the fact, and the snow load resistance comes from the fact that the tree can be bent right over to the ground almost, and then it'll snap right back. And predominantly, if they have, if they have a double leader, you do want to trim one leader out, like this would be trimmed down, so that one leader takes forward and, and uh, takes control. But usually they don't split apart in the winter at all. The emerald green, does split apart and is a uh, weaker tree that only grows to 10 to 15 feet. These could grow to 40 feet, but if you trim them, you can keep them probably around 25 feet for quite a long time. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. These are Hetz Kalimner junipers. They're a deer resistant juniper that grows to about 15 foot high by 5 foot wide. We grow a lot of boxwoods here at Highland Hill Farm. These are our 18 inch green mountain boxwoods. And these are our 24 to 28 inch green mountain boxwoods. We grow a lot of other deer resistant trees and shrubs as well. And those are our five to six foot green giants. If you need any 
high quality deer resistant nursery stock, give us a call. We can deliver or deliver and plant or you can stop and pick up. We're on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. Just give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. This one here, that's the green bush, that's our $50 size green bush, and that our $75 size bush. And those are the 2010 prices? Yes, they are. And we have, the, we have more of these out in the field. Now, as you can see down through here, we have quite a few of them ready to go. So just give us a call if you want to pick them up, 215-651-8329, or we can deliver and plant for you. Thank you.